In this video, you're going to learn how to create this progress circle chart with increments along with the progress value amount. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. So I have here the progress circle chart we're going to be building from scratch. And there's just a couple of things that we need to do to set this up to get it to function correctly and to be able to show the progress that we want to and to look nice and clean. So I'll just demonstrate just what it does. So we update our values starting at zero, or we could even go negative, it'll still be zero and it won't show a slice amount. So there's, if you don't set this up right and you have a negative amount, it'll actually show as though there is a percent. So that's one thing we'll correct for. And then we can just go up as we progress to our goal. You can see the circle fills in, then we get closer. It's almost completely filled. We have this text box in order to show how much percent we have. We get to that 100%, we're at 100. And then if we go over, the circle is still going to be completely filled in. We'll have a text box that'll show the percent. So if that all looks good and that's what you're looking to, to figure out, and this is the video for you. And then you can see it has these nice clean increment lines too to help break up your progress and just to make the donut chart look a lot cleaner. So there's two different data tables we have. We have basically our, our goal, our progress table. And then we have the second one, which is, is optional. I can show you a, a second way to do this without it, but this is just our increments. And that's these white little 5% increments. So there's 20 increments that make up the chart. And then we have a text box. So that's pretty simple chart, but yet very um, visually appealing and useful. So definitely something to have in your Excel tool belt. And so to start the category up here, this can just be whatever your trying to track. I just have total sales as just a, a standard placeholder. And then you have your current and your goal section here. So you can, I like to put anything that's an input value in this dark blue text. So if somebody picks this up, they know, okay, this is an input. Everything else is black font. I, that's just a formula or output value. So put in your current, your goal section. That's what you're trying to measure. And then this remainder, make sure you get this formula because if you don't, the, the, the circle chart won't actually work correctly. It'll, if it's negative, it'll show this dark orange versus just being blank. So the formula I have there is if E5 is E5 minus D5 is less than zero, then we're just gonna make it zero. So if it's negative, make it zero. Otherwise, we're just gonna take our goal minus our current to know how much we have left. So we have $750 left on our goal here. That equates to 70% progress. So the formula for that is if D5 divided by E5 is less than zero, then make it zero. Otherwise, we'll take our current divided by our goal to get our percent. And then the remainder is just F5 divided by E5. So the remainder divided by our goal. So that'll bring in if we're over our goal, we have 240% here, zero remaining, but the progress 240. So in order for this all to, to really sync up and to flow, it is important to make sure you get those formulas correct up top. Otherwise, like I said, the progress bar won't actually work as it should. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this. We'll start from scratch. I'll show you what we need to grab. Okay, we got a blank sheet here. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight the progress percent and this remaining percent, so 88% and 12%. We're gonna go up to our ribbon and go insert the chart section, do the drop down, and then select donut chart. So that brings in our donut chart. We can go ahead and blow that up a little bit just to see it better. And so we have this orange, dark orange is our 12%, then the blue, that's our 88%. So we can delete this legend at the bottom, go ahead and select the chart area and then do control one to bring up our format data series dialog box over on the right. And so we'll just change the colors to make this look better. And so we'll go to the fill section here and then the fill color, pick whatever color you want. Um, I like the, we'll go with this gold. I think that looks nice and clean. Make sure that transparency is zero. So that's the outer, the dark, this is our progress, this is the 88%. So I went ahead and did that for both the 12% and the 88%. So go ahead and just select that smaller slice here. And so this is just something I've found over the years with Excel and trying to pick different color schemes is I think it is best to stick with the exact same color, 
but just change your transparency. So a good rule of thumb that I like to use is just do 50%. I think that looks nice and clean. It It's enough of the distinction to know that, okay, this is lighter than our outer. That means that this is the part that we're still trying to, to get towards our goal. And so really that's it. That's, that's a way to just do a really simple progress chart if you wanted to just deal without the increments. But I think those increments that we're going to bring in really make the, the chart just look a whole lot better and more professional. So in order to bring those in, select the chart area, go to chart design. We're going to go to select data. We're going to go to add a series here. And then you can change the series name to increments if you want. And so there's two ways to do this. Either you can go ahead and reference a section. So I have this increments of 5%. So I have 25s in here to get to the 100%. You could do that. That's really easy to do. Or what you could do if you don't want to have this increment section over on your screen, you could hide it if you wanted or just off print screen. But if you just don't want that at all, you could go in here and just manually type in one to, you know, one 20 times and it would get to the same result. So it, it's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, but just wanted to point out that there's two different ways to do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do the highlight it. Just so I have that as, I already have that on the sheet, but like I said, you don't have to do it if you don't want these 5% anywhere. Click OK and click OK. All right, so we, now we have our increments and we have our, our starting donut. So let's go ahead and just select that outer ring because it doesn't look what we, what we want it to look like. Go to Chart Design, and then we're going to go to Change Chart Type. And then from here, all we have to do is just throw that increments onto the secondary axis. Click OK. And so now we have the increments. It has overridden our, our first donut as far as in the hierarchy. So just select it again and then just do no fill. So there you go. It is now essentially hidden. All we have is the spacers. And so, uh, and if you want to change the width of those, the, the white lines, the increments, you just select your area and then go to borders. And this 1.5 is the standard. You could decrease the width if you don't want them to be as pronounced, or you can increase them if you want those spaces to be really loud. So that's just a way to, to tweak that. But otherwise, we'll keep it at that 1.5, the standard. I think that looks really clean. So at this point, you could you could round the corners of your, your chart area. You could make the, the color stand out, add some width to it just to get this chart area you know, highlighted. You change the chart title, total sales or whatever you're, whatever you're tracking. And so the last piece is just to bring in our progress percent dialog box and I like to put that in the center. And so another rule of thumb here, just a nice helpful tip is to actually select your chart area and then go to insert. And then you could do a shape, basic shape. I'm going to click this oval and just draw it in there just so it looks pretty close to the, the area that we're working with. And so by selecting that chart, it actually is going to go ahead and just group that oval with our chart. So instead of having to insert a text box or a shape and then group it later, if you just do that, selecting the chart first, it, it makes it easier and it's already associated. So I'm just going to do some formatting here just to clean this up a little bit. So yeah, that is, we can do no line on the, the outer there. So center of this and that is your and then if i move around you can see i didn't have to group it it's already associated with uh, the chart so that is how to create a progress circle chart with the increments really simple really clean looking graph that um, i think can really be useful for dashboards or just to uh, give you know, one-off reports and so thanks for for watching um, please like and subscribe and i will say that i do have this exact template along with um, some dialog boxes that you could have as far as pulling out the goal and the remainder. You could have 5% increments with multiple charts to give a nice clean dashboard. I have an example here, or you could do like 10% increments. So you have 10 increments instead of the 20, whatever you prefer. I do have this 
complete template available in the link in the description to my Etsy page. So if that if this interests you, you don't want to go through the steps of actually creating yourself, I do have this available. But otherwise, I think you should be well equipped equipped to produce this on your own using this. And I hope you found this useful. Thank you and God bless.